Hello everyone. Today I'm here to code for Fizzbuzz. We saw you guys saw me playing that game and I uh, told that day that I'm going to code for it. So let's see how we can code write a program for Fizzbuzz. So first I will start my spider. So assuming that you all have installed Anaconda on your system, I'm using my Mac. You need to start. You need to start your spider. So, go to your terminal and just type spider. In Ubuntu, it is same. In Windows, you can just go to start and write spider in your application, and you will get the spider rider. You can just click on it, and the spider will open. So, let's see. So, you need to install Anaconda first. With Anaconda, you get spider rider. Without spider also you can work on your simple terminal or command prompt but we strongly recommend you to use spider because it is very easy for you guys and for you. So I have already created a file named fizzbuzz here you can if you if you will just start a spider uh, you will get a new file here you can save it by any name you want so I have saved it as fizzbuzz now here I will write all my program for Fizzbuzz. So, okay, guys, let's do this. So, this is the place where I will write my program. This is the place where all the outputs and console related things will come. So, uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, know the interface well. well. Uh, anyways, you can always Google up and uh, look what are the things here. So this is a new IPython console which starts with the spider. Uh, in the IPython means uh, interactive Python. So you can even visualize things here. We'll see in some other examples how we can use the IPython work. So here yeah, the uh, the great thing with Python is that you can even uh, do the computation on on fly. On fly means that on console you can write things and it will give you the output for example if I write 2 plus 3 it will just show me 5 so it the interpreter is like that it, it does the computation on fly rather than in C++ or C where, where you have to create a, 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 a .exe file then you can uh, run it uh, on your computer which will show you the output but here the interactive pipe, ipython console or simple uh, python console uh, works like this you can do the computation on fly so what the fizzbuzz uh, let me explain the fizzbuzz game again so what we did there um, suppose a person uh, is saying a number and that number is multiple of three then that that person has to uh, say fizz rather than uh, saying that number out loud so suppose if i'm saying one two and three comes then i have to say fizz or 
uh, any multiple of three comes, for example, six comes, then I then also I have to say a fizz, or nine comes, then I also have to say fizz. And if the multiple of five comes, then I have to say buzz, for example. If ten comes, then I have to say buzz. And if multiple of three and five, for example, a number which is divisible by four, or both three and five, I have to say fizz buzz. Uh, for example, if 15 comes, I have to say fizz buzz rather than just saying 15. And a person if says, rather than saying all these three uh, things, if he says uh, the number, then uh, he loses the game. So, what we are going to program is, if a number comes and if it is a multiple of 3, then I have to say fizz. If it is a multiple of 5, I have to say buzz. And if it is a multiple of both of 3 and 5, I have to say fizz buzz. For that, I need a loop. So what I will do, uh, I will just print a number from 1 to 50 to check whether my loops work and then uh, uh, I will just divide that number with all my uh, taking care of all the condition, I will write those condition and I will complete my program. For that first I need a loop. Loop, uh, the syntax of, I assume you know the syntax of loop, it is very simple, I will just write for i in range range is a predefined function in python where it takes the argument number a number simple number and prints uh, the range from zero to that number even negative values it can take but let me assume i'm just taking positive values here so suppose if i type in range 50 and i will just print the numbers it will give me the values from 0 to 49 so it always starts from 0 if you are giving a positive range okay so one, 0 to 49 I am getting but what I want I want to print numbers from 1 to 50 for that I will write for in for i in range 1 to 51 because it is giving always one min or the number minus 1 values I will write print i that's it I will get numbers from 1 to 50 okay great now I, I know how to write a loop so I will just write this loop here I will write for i in range sorry range 1 to 51 okay now I have a number at every iteration of this loop I will get a number from 1 to 51 suppose if I get a number which is a multiple of 3 I have to I have to print fizz rather than that, that rather than that number hence I will write here print If condition so for that I need a if condition I have to check whether the number is divis divisible by 3 or not if it is divisible by 3 then I have to print fizz so I will write if i mod 3 is equal, equal to 0 it means if i is, I is divisible by 3 I will just print fizz that's it and if it is divisible by 5 for example at number 10 if it is divisible by 5 then I have to print buzz for that I will write if else else I mean it is not divisible by 3 but it is divisible by 5 else if i mod 5 is equal equal to 0 it means if it is not divisible by 3 but it is divisible by 5 so I print buzz and if it is divisible by both 3 and 5 then I have to write fizz buzz for that I will write the condition if I mod 3 is equal equal to 0 and because I need both the conditions 
that is i mod 5 is equal equal to 0 so if i mod 3 is equal equal to 0 and i mod 5 is equal equal to 0 it means if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5 then i have to print print fizz bus that's it we are done so let me clear the console here I will just run this program. You can run it from here. You can see that I am getting fizz, buzz, fizz, fizz, buzz, fizz, fizz, something like that. I don't know which number is giving me fizz, which number is giving me buzz, and which is giving me fizz, buzz. For that, I need to print that number also. So I will write the number. I will associate the numbers with their corresponding phase or whatever buzz is there hence uh, in order to print two string uh, for in order to concatenate two strings I need a plus operator for example if I want to concatenate see here omit Sudarshan so with plus operator I can concatenate these two strings it will show me Amit Sudarshan hence I want to print i associated with that number it, it means it will show if 3 is coming it will show 3 is equal to fizz so it, will, it should show like this 3 is equal to fizz I want this for that what I will do in the print statement I will first convert the number the number is integer so I have to convert that number into a string for that I will write a str of i it will convert my i whatever number I am getting in the range 1 to 51 into a string and with a plus operator I will concatenate this string with the fizz if it is fizz I will write equal to here so I will copy this and I will print the same thing here It is. Right. and if it is none of these neither fizz nor buzz nor fizz buzz then I have to write else just print the number right string because we are always printing the string values and you can just print i also it doesn't matter Okay. Oh, uh, as a head start, I will I will show you what string does. So, for example, uh, if I have a number x is equal to one, three, two, four. If I write str of x, it will give me the string value one, two, three, four. Uh, you can always uh, you can save this also. A is equal to str of x and then a will contain the string value and you know the string is an uh, array of character only so if you write a2 you want to get the value at index 2 so array always starts with 0 in python 0 1 2 8. it should show me 2 okay let's get back to the program uh, everything is complete now i will just run it and let's see what happens great running everything is fine for one i don't have anything for two nothing three should should print fizz okay i'm getting fizz uh, i will i will give a space here let me give a space here uh, should look nice it's better whatever you program should look nice okay let me run it again okay perfect so for 1 I am getting nothing, 2 nothing, 3 is fizz, 4 is nothing, 5 is buzz, ok, 5 is multiple of 5, 6 is fizz because it is a multiple of 3, 9 is multiple of 3, fizz, 10 is multiple of 5, buzz, 12 is multiple of 3, fizz, 13, 14, nothing, 15, fizz, ok see this, 15 I am getting fizz but I was supposed to get fizz buzz because 15 is multiple of both 3 and 5. 
so here is the problem this uh, this is a very common problem we get uh, according to me and according to you guys also i suppose that this uh, program is very uh, the logic is very perfect i don't think there is any flaws in the logic but still i am getting fizz here rather than fizz buzz uh, i am not getting fizz buzz anywhere anyway. uh so what's the problem so can you guys guess what did i do wrong in next video i will explain what is the problem and we will see how to correct this and how to write uh write program for this fizz buzz problem. you can post uh, all your problems and regarding this video to discussion forum you can discuss also there so i encourage you guys to discuss this problem on discussion forum we'll see uh, this in next video